Everybody, how's it going? Woo! How's your Calgary Expo been so far? You had a good time? Woo! Uh, my name is Teddy Wilson. I'm uh, the host of a show called Inner Space on the Space Channel. And uh, oh, stop that. You sycophants, I love you. Uh, and I'm really lucky to have the gig I do. I always say that uh, conventions are, are my favorite part of the job, and the Calgary Expo is a really exceptional place. I hope you guys have had a really good weekend. And it's about to get even better, because I'm about to bring out uh, four people who, between them as actors, have a really, really amazing list of credits. But it's possible that you're here today for one show in particular. Uh, we're really proud at Space to say that it, it ran on Space up in, here in Canada. And it was an amazing series that got better and better every season and ended so amazingly. Did you like the final season? Oh, it was so good. Please welcome four amazing actors and all, also four of the uh, most down-to-earth best people I've ever met. Don't tell them I said that, though. Please welcome the stars of Being Human. We've got Kristen Hager, <laughs> Megan Rath, <laughs> Sam Huntington, <laughs> and Sam Whitworth. Please give him a big Calgary Expo. Hello. <laughs> Woo. This is amazing. We have our own. This Hi is guys. terrible. I'm freaking Hi. out. We have our own mics. I'm having a really bad time. I I'm having a really bad time. I can't see anybody. How's it going, guys? So far away. I know. Those were nice things you said about get, us. Can we get clear them? Yep. Yeah, we heard them. You want to go closer? Dude, we were literally Let's right there. Go a little Separated. closer. Bring it in. Bring it in. There. <laughs> yeah. 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 Go to sleep. This is just a normal hey, thing. Hey, guys. <laughs> you should see Easter. <laughs> it's, uh. Sam Whitworth's dead. Actually, and so is Aiden. No, okay. So can we talk about oh, the last God. season, though? Spoiler alert. It's really hot in here. It is hot, isn't it? Yeah. It got her hot, hotter when you four got it. I was going to oh. say, that was, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so f first off, Calgary Expo, how's it been so far? You having fun? You've met really terrible, here? man. Oh, you hate it? It's lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Um, we're going to talk on this panel, if it's okay with the four of you, and if it's okay with all of you, about the whole series. Because it's always a debate whether or not you want to spoil stuff. But obviously the finale happened a little while ago. So is that cool if we talk about it? If you haven't seen the last season, earmuffs at appropriate moments. But I want to start off by asking Wait, you... Wait, before you say yeah. that, who, who hasn't seen the whole thing? Raise your hands. Oh, awesome. Oh. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. No, I, okay. I, I just get approached more and more these days. They're like, oh, I love you. I'm being human. I'm like, great. You, did you like the finale? They're like, no, I just started. I'm like, oh, cool. Oh, right. Yeah. You know, that's neat. So you might hear some spoilers. Throw on the, uh, the, the earmuffs a little bit. But I want to start out by asking you, I, I think as, as geeks, it's amazing when you get invested in a show, but then it's such a bummer sometimes when a show that you love just ends and it feels like a season finale and not a series finale. You guys knew going into this season that it was your final one, and I think that really showed in the season because you wrapped up things so well. So was that gratifying for you guys having put your blood, sweat, and tears into this, knowing well, that it was your last one and knowing that you could wrap up these storylines? Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> This is so exciting for yeah, me, you guys. Yeah, you guys have no idea. Hey, will you guys cheer on three? Sammy, can you, like, cover yeah, it? Yeah, Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> ah! Woo! Megan has just Amazing. discovered the video they function turn the, on Instagram. Turn the house lights on. <laughs> uh, uh, to answer your question, uh, it, was, it, was, it was gratifying. It was one of those things where uh, we can speak completely openly now, I think. We were... Um, yeah. Me and Sam are a couple. I'm so glad we can talk about this. I hope we have your blessing. We've wanted it all along. I know. That's right. Uh, well, you kind of got it a little bit throughout the all four seasons. If you were looking yeah, for it. There was a lot of man love there. Um, but we, well, we know Sam Whitworth likes the men. Big black uh, ones. Uh, yeah, spoiler alert, guys. That was your fault, by the way. Uh, that we were saying that they actually cut that part out of the show, but Sam pushed to get it put back in the script. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny, we did that. For the people who know what we're talking about, the scene that we're talking about, I did maybe, what, like 10 takes doing that? And you then wanted one to get with it her, right. One with you, 10 with him. That was a highlight of, I think, the series for me. <laughs> me too. Oh, my gosh. So good. Uh, but no, so, so we, we all kind of collectively at the beginning of the season, uh, before the season started, we were like, all right, if we are going to go out, we should, 
we should not end on this massive cliffhanger because that's just unfair. It's unfair to us, it's unfair to you guys because then the show is unfinished and, and these, these, these characters deserve an end and you know, we've told the story and wouldn't it be nice if we could just wrap everything up and one way or another, whether it ends in a you know, flaming you know, pile of, of um, mm, garbage yeah? um, or, or, or happily, you know, one way or another, it would be nice to end this and, and, so, and the writers were... Anna made the request to sci-fi that, yeah. that 4 be it. And that was, I think that was the right call. Cause yeah, yeah. And then we, but and then, then it was like the whole season. We were like, all right, is this gonna get approved? Is this gonna get approved? Is this gonna get approved? And yeah. I don't think it was until episode like eight, where Sci-Fi was finally like, when we were shooting episode eight, that they were like, all right, yeah, we're gonna, we've approved this outline. So then it was like, okay, they've approved the outline. Are they gonna actually write the script? And is, is, once we get the script, are they gonna let us actually shoot it? And they did. And then. But then, uh, but then they didn't even, they didn't even commit. Until no. we were wait, airing like six, six or seven, seven episodes, episodes in. Yeah, yeah. So we were all very nervous. Like, how do you make the show after we just did this season? Right. So. Yeah, it was terrifying. Because yeah. it was such a nice ending, too. I don't know if you guys liked it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, we were all very proud of it. So we didn't, how do you do an ending that you already like? And come back from that. It would have been very bizarre. So. I want to mention as well quickly, uh, we, got, we want to get to a lot of your audience questions. So there's a mic in either aisle here. So the way we're going to do it, if you could just line up at the microphone and then we'll, we'll try to get to all of your questions. Um, <laughs> just really quickly before we, we do get to an audience question, I really like the whole alternate dimension, the alternate universe thing, uh, obviously that Sally went to when she, you know, when she didn't die. Um, and that was a really, really interesting timeline for me as a viewer. But I'm wondering for you as actors, was it kind of nice in that last season to get to try on these different relationships because you get to know a character and how that character interacts with the other characters and the other actors, but then to have it tossed on its head, was it al almost like doing a bit of a different show at that point? Yeah, I mean, that's why we were, we, that's why we, we said from the beginning of this season that this final season was a gift for the fans because for people, for most of you, I imagine have watched the show since the beginning, so to see these characters take on different relationships and, and it's just different ways that it could have come out was really interesting for, for, for us to read and then to see play out. Um, I loved those episodes too. Yeah, me too, I love them. I wish there could have been far more of the pill addicted Nora on the show. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she was hot. Yes, she was. <laughs> uh, to, uh, also, you know, the way that Stefan Plazinski, our, 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 our wonderful executive producer and, and on the scene showrunner really, uh, uh, the way he directed them was aesthetically completely different than the entire rest of the series, and I thought it was way grittier and, and, and really, really interesting. And that was his idea going in. It was all very handheld. Yeah, the idea was that if we, if we didn't present it as something different, those episodes might have come off not as well, because you have a scene, and then you go two months later, then you have a scene three months later, then you have a scene five months later. And so it's like, if you, if you saw that in the short film or you know, a movie, you'd accept it. But if you see it on a show where you're expecting the whole story to go through and then suddenly they're just jumping around, you might not like that unless the show declares very strongly, no, go with it. You know, it's a different thing. And thankfully, you guys seem to go with it. So I remember when they, because they, they pitched these episodes, they were like, we're going to go back in time for, you know, eps eight and nine. And, and I remember talking to you and being like, all right, this could either be like the coolest thing ever or it could be really awful. Shitstorm. Yeah, really bad. <laughs> And, and honestly, I think it's, uh, I don't know about you guys, but it's like two of our collectively yeah. favorite, you know. There's, I'm, I'm going to be pushing to get the, uh, the first assembly version out to the fans because there's a version of that episode that's like 15 minutes longer. And it was one of the, because you always have to cut stuff down to get it down to, you know, to, so you can air it. You know, you have to get it down to about 43 minutes. And the first cut of that episode, you know, everyone was really upset because usually it's clear what ne you need to cut to tighten something up. This one, all of the stuff was great. And we're like, oh, we have to cut 15 minutes of great stuff out of this. So I think you guys might be interested in seeing, you know, the longer version of yeah, oh, it's, it, it's not going to happen. I well, mean, it's not going to really happen. You're going to applaud all your A lot of it, originally in App 8, there was another kiss with you and um, Quasi, the... Uh, giant werewolf. It was a 15 so minute long a, kiss. It was 15 minutes longer than what was originally in the episode. That's, all, I want to that's put the, it the back only in. difference. There yeah. was one episode just about me and Quasi and where that relationship went. Did, that whole episode was cut. 
Did everybody love Aiden and Sally in that alternate timeline together? Oh, that was wicked. <laughs> that was wicked. Uh, let's open it up to the floor. Hello, we'll start on this side. Hi there. Hi. First of all, I want to say that in Canada, you two can get married legally. You know, yes, true into, fact. You really don't think about anything. The problem is he's already married, but <laughs> is that legal to get married Whatever, to a dude who's married? No, we're not that open. Whatever. It's 2014. <laughs> it's true. Come on. Do the math. So, first of all, I want to thank you for not sopranoing us at the end of the season. Yeah, I not agree. Not pulling us sopranos and everything is tied up. It was great. Mm -hmm. But why did it end so soon? We told the story. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I feel like well, the story it was like we, we told the appropriate amount of story. But there were also politics going on behind the scenes, obviously, you know, yeah. financially, etc. Yeah. Yeah. We were put in a position where we could have made a grab for a fifth, but we didn't have confidence that we could do a good one, frankly. Like, we, you know. I think I speak for everyone in this room when I have confidence that you could have done a fifth. Uh -huh. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> if we didn't end it the way that we did, we, we could have. And I think sci-fi would have taken a really, a much harder look at, you know, continuing it on. But because Especially it ended the... so, I, I don't know, personally, I really feel like it ended well and appropriately. So, like, I think they did the right thing. I really yeah. do. One thing that Anna Freaky was saying is that, is that she didn't want to prolong the story just for the sake of it. Right. She wanted to give these characters a real end to their journey because that's what the show was about from the beginning. And, you know, it's like a lot of these science fiction shows, we end a lot of our seasons on cliffhangers. And how pissed would you have been at us if that's how it was ending? So furthermore, furthermore, you know, the, I remember Anna talking around season two. I was having a conversation. Well, no, season three, we were having a conversation. And she was like, you know, how long are these roommates going to live in an... <laughs> Don't act like that was an accident. <laughs> Nothing is an accident. I've been sitting like this the whole time waiting for you. Here, let's just... <laughs> so... Basically, she was like, how long are these roommates going to live together? Like, I don't see this going on for seven years. They would, you know, they would move on. They would have lives and stuff like that. So our show. Got it. And then. <laughs> Got it. This will be on Instagram and making a video. Our show. <laughs> Our show was always designed to be a smaller, more intimate, you know, character-based thing. It wasn't, you know, it's not Star Trek The Next Generation where you can go seven years. I mean, you know, I think you saw all you were going to see. And besides which, there are 37 other episodes of, from the British series about vampires, werewolves, and ghosts. There are three different casts, four if you count the pilot of the British series. So that's a lot of vampires, werewolves, and ghosts, guys. And if you haven't seen the British series, go see it. It's amazing. Thank you. And, and also, we'll all keep working, I promise. <laughs> we'll do other stuff. And, and Maggie and I have a movie on iTunes right now. That's in right. In Canada. Yeah, yeah. And they have a sex scene in it. Yeah, they do. And they really Only have sex. Only one left really to have, have a sex scene with. Uh-oh. <laughs> and Teddy, too. Yay! <laughs> Yeah. yeah! It's great, though. Three Night Stand and directed by Pat, of course, who played, who played Nick. But it's wonderful. And if you've always been curious about uh, Sally and Josh together, you should definitely see But there you go. For, For sure. those of you who wanted that. Yeah. You know, Anna shared with me that that was one of the ideas they had early on, yeah. that maybe Sally and Josh would end up together. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. So what do you guys think about that? For all you, oh, I don't think Aiden and Sally should. Yeah, Megan, what do you, what do you think about that? <laughs> wait, wait, Megan, yeah, Megan, what do you think about that? What are you going to do about it? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we both just God looked up. How dare you? I'm so. Don't even look at me. I can't. Don't even talk to me. I'm not. I'm actually looking at Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, what? Hi, Hi. How are you? What was it? Was Good. there a question? <laughs> Oh, that would have been a cool no twist. Question. At the mic there. Hello, how are you? Hi. Hi. Um, so just, I'm a, like, a little freaked out right now. <laughs> this Me too. This is my main reason I came to Calgary all early from Seattle, was to see you guys. Aww. Yay! Yeah. Uh, I just want to say you're all beautiful, gorgeous people. And it's so sad that simply the show had to end, but um, it's just, it's so adorable. Just 
you are just like one big happy family. Just how you're acting right now together, you know, pushing your chairs together, you taking pictures for Instagram, everything like that. Uh, I just wanted to know exactly what is um, the thing you're going to be missing most about working all together. That. <laughs> Sitting on chairs closely together. No, no, I mean, just, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Just that, like, we, every, every day when we got to work, it was, like, so much fun. It didn't matter if it was 3 o'clock in the morning or if, you know, you'd been there, you know, since, you know, 3 o'clock in the morning and it was the next day at 3 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it was always just, like, fun, and uh, I can't really, it was always just fun. And awesome. Wasn't that much fun? It was fine. It's true. I was terrible. It was fine. No, it's true. We we all got along really it, immediately. All of us got along really, really well. And so that's yeah. That's to have that kind of chemistry with people you're working with, and to be happy to go to work every day because of that is a very rare thing. Very rare thing. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Thank you for Thanks driving for from Seattle. Yeah. Woo! Hey, by the way, um, you know. I, I've been saying this to a few people who have coming up for, you know, autographs and stuff, but there's a, uh, if you go on my Facebook and you look through the posts, and I'll, I'll post another one, there's a link to season one commentary that we all did for all of the episodes of season one. So if you guys want to go back and see us be idiots and make fun of our own show, uh, it's, it's pretty funny stuff. You well, haven't listened. We also eat you pizza and, and, like, get drunk in a few of them, too. So that's it's true. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> We wonder why it didn't go on the DVD. No kidding. Yeah. Hello, how are you? Hi. Um, I was just wondering, when you guys first started working together, was there any confusion having two actors named Sam? I'm still, I don't yes. know, I, I can't tell them apart. I, I, yeah, exactly. Well, it got really easy. There was black Sam and white Sam. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> really easy. Well, we look so much alike. Yeah. Uh, no, they, I, it, to really answer your question, uh, I, I go by Sammy uh, to a lot of people, and and uh, and so that was like an easy way to do it right right from the start. Some people didn't adopt it. For instance, Chrissy still calls me just Sam. I just call you Sam. My wife just calls me Sam. It's because I'm also your wife. Because <laughs> <laughs> and the similarities continue. But yeah, that, it was it was very confusing for some people. Yes, okay. and us at times. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm good. Thanks for being here. This is a question for the entire cast. I was wondering what challenges you each had as actors in portraying your specific supernatural creature. Who would like to start? You. You. Oh. Um, <laughs> Simple. Uh, well, for me, the, the challenge was just keeping it in focus that it was up for Aiden about drug addiction. As long as I kept touching down with that, kept touch, t touching, touch, touching down with touching it. it. <laughs> touching it? Touching it? Touching it? down with it. Touch down it. Yeah, touching it ch inside of it. T touch down? <laughs> yeah. As long as I did that, uh, I knew how to play the role. Um, you know, and thank God the writers, ne we never got away from that. If we had, I don't know what the hell I would have done, you know, just, uh, <laughs> I'm a vampire, ooh, you know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Um, you know, for me, and actually, I think it's a, a kind of similar situation where it's just kind of like remembering that he was a guy that got turned into a werewolf. You know what I mean? He was just a normal guy with a bright future, and all of a sudden he, you know, got infected with this disease, and it was just something that he considered exactly that, a disease, and that he just kind of you know, hated himself for it and, and, uh, and, and, and hated his life. And that was the, ultimately his journey, was like learning to not hate himself so much, which I think is so, all these things, all of our, all of our metaphors are so, uh, so uh, relatable, you know? Uh, so anyway, that was, the, yeah, that, that was it for me. It, wasn't the, it was just the thing that I, like the addiction thing, was like the thing that I always had to like remember. It's just like, he's not a werewolf, he's a guy what I loved about Josh. I think, yeah, I, I think um, for me, if we're, if we're speaking um, about the overall journey is, you know, how do you, how do you personalize these, 
incredible imaginative situations that these people are in. Uh, how, how do you make that mean something to you? How do you justify murdering 10 people and still come out sort of likable? Um, so that was tough. Aside from the, the physical um, challenges at the beginning of, of the series for me, because there was a lot of, um, you know, a, a lot of rules. Like, we were very specific about what Sally can do and can't do in regards to touching people or sitting on hard things. So physically that was uh, difficult, but then otherwise just sort of crafting a journey um, throughout the series. Yeah, I mean, I think for me it was similar as well. At first it was daunting, you know, trying to wrap my head around how, how do I portray a werewolf? How do I go to those supernatural places? But as soon as I realized that it was very much based in humanity and, and relating it to very a very human problem that became simple. But for me personally, I think my biggest challenge on the show was was maintaining, uh, like was, was having all of you carry on liking me. Because I feel like Nora ran up uh, to so many, hit so many walls that the writers had put me up with like the Nora versus Aiden thing. Like I got hate mail and like death threats on Twitter practically. Cause like, <laughs> how dare I challenge everyone's pressure? The serial David. killer. How dare I she know. call out the serial killer? And so killer. that was honestly like for me, like the biggest challenge of anything was like, God, like how do I keep trying like making this woman likable and relatable and anyway, so. I think you got there. I mean, you uh, know. I did eventually. <laughs> you know, the, the, the thing eventually. with the, the Nora Aiden thing is like, we all knew how that was gonna go down cause I was there first. If you had been there first and I was like, hey, you're bad, and they, they would have gone after me. Kristen, you had a bit of a different challenge because you started off human. We met the three of you basically mm. when you were already supernatural. Did you know all along that you were going to become a No, woman? I mean, I obviously had, had an idea that that was a, a, a possible possibility for me because of the, the BBC version. I knew that the, right. the girlfriend uh, became a werewolf, but I didn't know. And, then, and I don't think they knew. Even when I was scratched after season one, they didn't know for sure if that's the, the route they wanted to take. Right. And so it wasn't until season two. Um, Did you want it? I did yeah. want it. I mean, I was afraid of it, but I wanted it. Right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Very no. masochistic. Very. <laughs> and over there, hello. Hello. My questions for Megan and Sam Whitwer. Was it difficult after being friends on the show for so long to switch on the chemistry? In the last year? Oh, yeah, guys. Right was it right difficult? The what uh, was the question? Yeah, it was, <laughs> was it difficult to switch on the chemistry? Because uh, the switch was off switch was from the beginning. So off. And then we decided to switch <laughs> it on. Uh, it was like so, flipping a switch. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was, it was strange at first. Like when, when uh, Anna Freaky pitched it to us at the beginning, I, I, didn't, I honestly didn't think it was going to go that way from the beginning. beginning. Sam thought that it, he had more of a, an idea that it would. But I, I well, really not. didn't believe that we were going to, I thought we were not going to end up together. Um, but, you know, so when she, she pitched it to me, I was uh, skeptical. Um, I didn't want to ruin what we had already on the show. And we had established such a specific friendship that I didn't, I mean, it's like people in real life. It's like, he's my best friend. I don't want to ruin it, I guess. Um, but then I was, I, on, honestly, like, I was watching the series go on, I, I was more sold. People... I mean, I know you don't like you didn't like you didn't like them together, did you? Uh. Uh. <laughs> I, I I no no I I I I just thought it was weird. <laughs> like I think I had more of an issue with with it than they did. It was just like your brother and sister making well, out. Well, here's something honestly. Like, here's something oh, interesting that I would have loved to see on the gross. show that that I didn't see. I would have loved to see the conversation where we tell them that yeah. we're together and see how they react. Like, I good actually point. thought that's what was missing. Yeah. yeah what, did you, what do you have to say to her? Well, season one and two, fans would come up and say, so, Aiden and Sally, and I'm, because, you know, Mitchell and Annie, and I said, no, no way. No, it doesn't make any sense. And uh, it was because when Aiden comes in, when we meet him, he's, uh, you know, he's like this, what, 260-year-old guy, and he's very, you know, blank-faced, and stern and stuff and Sally's like this little girl and so you know they they're friends but there's not they don't have that common ground and then then he gets buried and a whole bunch of other stuff happens they don't see each other for a year and when they get back together in season three she's a lot older she's she's like a woman now she's been through her own stuff and Aiden because he's been hanging out with 
the idiots is kind of a lot younger in a, in a, in a way. And, uh, and so that we would have these scenes, right, in season three, where there was a scene where she's as asking me about Kat, and Megan Rath just starts sexually harassing me throughout the whole scene. And it, it's in the episode. Like, it was never written that way. She's like, I think you're backed up. And she starts, you know, walking around me and doing all this stuff. And Anna Fricky, it was just not, a lot of that wasn't scripted. And Anna Fricky calls me up and she's like, hey, I saw what you guys did in that scene and I like it. You know, I'm like, all right, cool. So there were all these weird moments between Aiden and Sally that, um, that indicated to me that there might be something. And so when Anna said, uh, called, you know, like, we talked after season three, and she's like, what do you think? I'm like, yeah, go for it. I, at this point, it, it makes a lot more sense. It'd be a complete, you know, interesting left turn, but yeah. Well, when she saw the way I was sexually harassing you, she decided that they simply must be together. Well, that's right. I, so, I, sexual I get, harassment is the best way to start it's any It's true, it's, so I, I've been married for a long time. That's exactly how my relationship started. I, that's right. Um, I came around to it, and I like how it ended very, very much. It's just like, it was a little weird, like, for me. It's probably kind of weird for you guys, too, at first. There's like but also, people. how many of you guys, you guys have slept with siblings before, right? I mean, yeah, like, that's a that's, really best point made yet. Yeah, I mean, you have a sister, you yeah, know what it's dude, all about. absolutely, and I remember at first, it was weird. And then it got totally normal. And then, but I, you know what, uh, the, something I did do was I did say to my friends, <laughs> hey, hey, me and my sister, I know this is going to be weird for you guys. But check it out. But listen. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. They applaud incest. <laughs> I love this province. That's our fans. <laughs> Putting it on you. It's you. <laughs> Isn't us. I got to ask a potentially controversial question, but I'm a serious journalist, so I have to. Uh, good kisser? Good kisser? Uh, who's you are, you're a great kisser. <laughs> I'm sorry, and anyone that says any otherwise is a f***ing liar. He's a, you're a great kisser. Thank you. He is a great kisser. That is what I meant. Uh, hello, small TARDIS. Hello. Hello, TARDIS. Hi. Um, just saying I haven't watched Being Human. Um, I'm not old enough to. But, <laughs> <laughs> but what was your favorite, like, throughout all the seasons, how, what was your favorite moment in, like, any scene? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that actually was a highlight for uh, yeah. me. <laughs> I enjoyed time. that, although we hated being in that room so much. Yeah. Uh, I was delirious in that room. Yeah. I didn't know what was going on. Uh, well, that, that scene, the first, kiss the first kiss in the real world between Aiden and Sally that happens under strange circumstances. He loves it. Yeah, that was it. a big moment. That was a big moment. It. Well, no, when I read the script, we were all... Where are you going, guys? Where are you going? Yeah, yeah, okay, he just fine. you off. No, whatever, <laughs> fine. No, back, go back to Seattle. Go back to Seattle. Oh, my God, it's the Seattle. I can't hear... I've got a microphone. I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> Can you still hear us? Poor thing. Run. She's so angry. Um... She had anger issues from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. We're better off without her, guys. <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> um, that, that scene was a, you know, it was a big, it was going to be the biggest fight we'd ever did with more characters than we've ever done. And when we first read the script, there was like eight characters in this, well, there was like eight werewolves, and then all of us were in the scene, and it was a big, long sequence. And, uh, you know, of course, we were all laughing, and I was laughing. Like, oh, this is great. Oh, I have to do this. Oh, man. Um, but it was, you know, that was a challenge to shoot because we never, uh, something that we haven't talked that much about is we never have enough time to shoot anything. The, the big fight between me and Bishop at the end of season one, we shot it in less than two hours. It, real safe, right? You know, no, <laughs> and so when, you know, this whole thing with, the big guy and the kiss, the fight leading up to it had to actually be something, otherwise the kiss just comes out of nowhere. And uh, we all worked really hard, including, including you guys shooting everything in that day really fast so we'd have more time later I believe on. You, so you, fi that's right, you finished that fight scene the second half of that day. Yeah. That was Halloween. That was Halloween. That was Halloween day. Yeah. It was Halloween, Halloween night. Halloween night. <laughs> um, 
For me, it would be like, oh gosh, I'm sorry. We'll, we'll get to your questions too. I'm sorry. It would just be every time we were all in the house and we got to be like light with each other. Yes. Like that, those were my, those were like, the, I know that's like very broad because there was a lot of that. Um, but anytime we just got to like goof around and all of us got to be together and just having fun, I think those moments really like sing and, uh, and are so fun to shoot just because we got to be together. Yeah. No, I agree. I, like, specifically uh, early on in the season, I, I really loved all the stuff that we did out in the trailer when, you know, like, like we were camping out, uh, trying to get him, you know, back. Birthed from my Birthed. wolf. And there was one night specifically that stands out for me when Sally's doing the spells. Oh, my God. And it was July, and it was freezing so cold like it was it was almost snowing but you guys completely understand <laughs> um and and it was so cold and and you showed up late because you had to film something after yeah. us and it was just everything kept going wrong like literally there were so many effects like the wind machine was supposed to be blowing when she said her spell and every take like something would fall megan's hair would her just hair be covering her face hands. we did it like 37 times and then they finally realized that they were pointing the fan in the wrong direction yeah that was it <laughs> and all of this crazy stuff and like there was like an explosion that like almost blew my legs off and like and it was like the most fun and then, night yeah and then we took a picture of the four of us and i look like a shih tzu <laughs> yeah. Yeah. honestly and i hold my eyes it. are pointing in different and will, directions and i will tweet it immediately following this panel <laughs> no no you probably yes, would yes, never yes, yeah. that. Yeah. no absolutely yeah. no guys it's, stop. it's not happening it's time. sorry it's time. sorry it's not happening it's time no. <laughs> it's it's happening guys it's definitely happening it's happening hello hi hi oh there we go um, so one, you guys are awesome. So You're awesome. Yes. Oh. You're awesome. Thank you. Um, but um, I just want to actually, on the reverse of her question, what was the most emotionally draining either moment or episode you guys had to go through? Where you're like, I can't do this anymore. Almost came to that point. Um, there were so many. Oh. For him, no, there were so, so many. many. Uh, well, no, so, for all of us. So many. So I'm many. I that. would say for me, the one that I had the most difficulty like getting through just because I was so emotional was the very lad when he's going through the door, the very last scene. It was like uh, we actually shot that last. That was the very yeah, last, the last thing we thing shot, shot in well, the did. show. Yeah. 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 And yeah. And I was just well, like you arrive on the set, the set has been destroyed. And we're like, so whoa. Heavy. So crazy. I've got some great pictures of that. Actually the the la the last thing we ever shot was Sally and Aiden in heaven. That's it. That was the last shot of last being shot. human. And you know what's cool is the the scene with our kids uh, we shot in September, like September, yeah, September, like way early, so that it would look green and nice and not brown and So that we weren't freezing. doing snow angels. Exactly. Those are my kids, by the way. Those are his kids. kids. Real life kids. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And they're actually named Sally and Aiden. Yeah. It's crazy. Because I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> like for the people out there that named your your little boy's Aiden. So did he. It's so weird. Right? But part of that is because they're not all your kids. No. <laughs> Sam actually named my kids. Because the mailman always rings twice. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sam Witwer, is it true that before that scene where you went to, you know, burn down the house when you were walking, it, is it true that it was your idea to put your leather jacket back on? Yes, yeah. Well, the, and the, we had a debate about that. Basically, I was like, okay, so Aiden's going to face, essentially he's going face to face with all of his sins, and thematically anyway, as represented by this sweet girl, Helen, as Ramona, you know, this, this little girl plays all of our sins. Great, you know. But <laughs> this is happening. Oh, I'll get there. Don't worry. Uh, okay, so, so Aiden goes in. He, d he hasn't had the leather jacket for the whole episode, and, and uh, I insisted. I, I was like, look. <laughs> wait, wait till you see it. Let's pause the question for a second. This is important. Wait, I need to get him. That's how the video ends, guys. That was the end of it.
<laughs> Do his catchphrase. That's a new move. We've been working on this all day, by the way, and that's a new move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's really good. Here, let me try some of that. It's wet, it's wet inside it. That's when you know it's working. He was drinking water before. <laughs> he, was, he was drinking he was water on the cart right ride here. over. He was, he was so parched. So, oh. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. So yeah, basically he didn't have his leather jacket. I, I made, I was like, look, is Indiana Jones gonna go fight the Nazis without his hat? Come on, you know, and they're like, well, no, and that, ha that leather jacket, the, the argument that was made against it was, that leather jacket is like his vampire thing and he's not a vampire anymore. And I'm like, no, that leather jacket represents the struggle. When we went to the alternate dimension, when Aiden, you know, was with Bishop and he's working with Bishop, we got a nice new leather jacket for him. The crappy old leather jacket, the weathered one, that's, that's, that's the good Aiden. The, I, the argument I made is like, when Aiden's at his best, he looks bad. When he's at his worst, he looks good, you know? And, and so I was like, and, and you know, that, well, are you just trying to look cool? I'm like, I swear to God, I'm not trying to just look cool. I just, it just makes sense. And it wasn't until I walked with Stefan Pluchinski, uh, we were, I was, he wanted to see it. So I did the whole thing. I acted it out for him on the set. And uh, he, what he did is he saw the, uh, how are you doing there? I'm fine, how are you? I'm fine. Um, I'm regretting bringing him out. <laughs> <laughs> so once he saw the jacket on and saw me doing my old man walk with the jacket, he's like, you actually look sadder with the jacket. I'm like, that's the idea. So he went, a nice touch. he went for it. It was awesome. Cool. Wonder Woman. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hey. You guys are totally wicked cool. Just had to point that out. Um, I have a two-part question. So the first one is, if they made Being Human a movie, would you do your parts again? But if by some fart brain casting agent retardedness, they didn't cast you, who would you think would be cool as your part? Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that was, that's perfect. That is perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. Uh, Matthew Lillard. <laughs> Matthew Lillard. <laughs> Dude. All right, no, no. Keep going. Nicki Minaj. <laughs> oh, yeah. No brainer. Oh, and Lindsay Lohan. <laughs> yes. 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 Yeah. Perfect. Well we done. did it. We did it. We that was it. great. You're welcome. <laughs> Dreamcast. Hello, sir. Hey there, you guys are kind of amazing. I think everybody said it so far, but. You're amazing. <laughs> I try. Um, so, <laughs> the end of the last season, it was like I was expecting the sky to fall. I think everybody else was too. How hard was it keeping a lid on that? The fact that like, the world doesn't end on fire, everybody gets their happy ending. How, how hard was it not to not, spill the beans? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know. Well, we didn't want to, we didn't want to ruin it we, for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we didn't wanna, we didn't like, yeah. We wanted everyone to see it for the I first mean, time without knowing. I mean, we've now spilled the beans for half oh, yeah. of you. Yeah, we just did it. <laughs> well, that's so. your own problem for coming here and expecting not to anything to be ruined. So <laughs> you can go out of here with the girl from Seattle. I know. <laughs> <That's laughs> I didn't mean to be so mean. You're going to share it to Seattle. Uh, um, uh, <laughs> Stay. Yeah, I didn't even tell my mom. <laughs> I've yeah, neither did I. I They're never super told. Close. Yeah. And I tell I your mom everything, and I didn't tell, tell my her mom anything. anything. Yeah. That's weird. I know. It's hard, too. Um, you Our know, video just went live, guys. Ooh. To see all these people. Um, <laughs> you know, there have been a few people who have come to me uh, during this con and said, oh, we, I just didn't dig on the idea of, of, of a somewhat happy ending. And I'm just like, so we haven't kicked Aiden's ass enough, or, or you know, these people haven't suffered enough. Because no for kidding. four like, years, I feel these like we've all died and like come back and then um, died uh, several and tortured times. and been caged and being cattle prods and killed people with rocks and shit. <laughs> it's uh, like enough was enough. Like just give these people a happy ending. Damn it! I was so I was so relieved. I was like, thank God, thank God. These. People deserve this. Law of averages says something's going to go right, right? Right, yes. And, and, and the, the I, I just want to just drop F-bombs everywhere. The, the screwed up thing is every time like something would start to go right for one of us on the show, it would just all fall to shit. And like, it was like, no, come on. Just be happy for an episode. 
Well, and it's also, you know, it's not a straight happy ending. There's some sad stuff in there. So, you know, for those of you who enjoy misery, I think we gave you a little bit. No right? kidding. You know? All right, thank you. There you go, bud. Hello, how are you? Good, thank you. Starfleet. Hi, everybody. Hi. Um, love the show, but part of my favorite parts of the show was when Aiden went back to do the flashbacks and what he would end up wearing. <laughs> so um, my question was, what was your personal favorite um, era, I guess it would be? The, the 20s. For Aiden. Yeah. I love the pencil mustache. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> right? It was right? good. It worked. That's what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, it was, I got to keep, during the, the last 20s flashback we did, when me and Henry cornered those two girls in an alley, I got to keep that suit. They made that suit for me, and then they gave it to me. So, so and I, I can't, I've, I've killed untold women in that suit since then. Uh... <laughs> Because there's already bloodstains on it. I figured, should I have not said that? No, 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 that was the right thing to say. Okay. If you're also, gonna... just one more thing. Um, uh, no follow-ups. Love... No, I'm just kidding. I love Pill Addicted Nora, too. I think yeah. Thank more... you. Right. Thank but for real, like, that was one of my favorite things to shoot for over the entire four years. I loved it. I thought, I like, wasn't kidding when I thought there should have been more of that. Agreed. That's the spinoff. Yeah, yeah we, have a, we have a family, and you just said, like, you go, like, <laughs> The family dark. was too much for me. Normal life was way too much right, for me. Right, right, Started taking pills. Yep. Well, Sam Whitmer, you got to keep the suit. Did, did any of the rest of you keep anything? I got the steal? best. I have the best item from the set. I, I know have, what you're going to say. I have Doug the Catman, dude. <laughs> the statue thingy. Yeah. The little that half dog, half cat creature with the catcher's mask and the crown. Much like a real dog in a relationship, you kind of have the discussion up front. It's like, well, if anything happens, who gets to keep the dog? Very early on, oh, yeah. Yeah. it was like, all right, Meg's from Montreal. She's got a lays here. She should, have, she should have dog. And therefore, we never actually knew it was going to happen, though. And then, 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 then they gave him to you. Well, we didn't know he'd become such an integral part True. of the show. Um, well, they, hadn't, they didn't make him a series regular you, until do season three. Do any of you know who we're talking about, what we're talking about, by the way? Yeah, some of you do. Someone got a Dog of the Catman dude tattoo. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Here? Someone here? Not no. here. It's, uh, oh. I think he, was he from Philly? He's from Philly. No. I, don't, I don't know. What I want to see is someone needs to bring their cat and or dog to a con as Dog the Catman dude. Oh, my God. Throw a catcher's mask on him. Yep. If he's miserable, that's not my problem. No, and that's, yeah. <laughs> crown him. You got to crown him. him. Yeah, crown him the king of kings. How is he, Megan? Is he good? He's doing well, thanks. Good, good. Yeah. Great. He's doing Great. well. <laughs> Corey. Graham. Graham, sorry. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Isn't there a man named that's Gordon Corey. Graham? He's right there. <laughs> oh, there's Corey. Oh, you're in my... Where's yeah. the other Corey? Corey? Graham? He's yeah. gone. Anyway, I... Hi, Graham. Hey, you're you guys still alive. Awesome, by the way, you guys have been great. Uh, I just wanted to ask a question. If you guys could be a different supernatural character on the show, which, which one? Like, do we have to stick to the ghost, the vampire, the werewolf? Nope, which, whatever, zombie. Sammy is... Voltron. <laughs> <laughs> which is, you know, yeah. hard. I'd be a phoenix. <laughs> I'd be a pegasus. Pegasus? I, I, I would be some kind of bird creature as well, just, as long as I could fly. I just want to fly. Hawkman bird. from Flash Gordon. It'd be, it'd be Hawkman. A, it'd be a really Hawkman. boring show because these creatures don't talk. She's a yeah, female so Hawkman. Be... Hawkman. Yeah. She Hawk. Thanks. I love you. Thanks, Graham. Okay. Sorry about the name thing. Love you. Hi. Hi there. Uh, just want to th say thank you very much for ending it on a happy note. Uh, I've watched tons of shows where there are super bad people in there, and by the end, everything turns to garbage. Right? So, thank you for that. Uh, also, how do you enjoy working in Canada versus the States? What are you going to say, guys? How do you... Uh... Well, I'll say this. I uh, moved, my son was uh, one year old. Uh, my one daughter, season. obviously not. My, my son was one season old. <laughs> uh, when we one growing season. One season. Now he's four seasons old. Uh, now he's four seasons old. Um, when we started the show, and 
I, I, we shoot in Montreal, uh, and, uh, and, and now the show has been canceled, and yet I have chosen to stay in Montreal with my family. He's chosen to stay in Canada, guys. Yeah. Woo! Uh, oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love I it. You guys just give me goosebumps. <laughs> what? Goosebumps. Goosebumps. Doesn't take much. It doesn't. doesn't Whereas I, I moved to Seattle, and so I feel super betrayed today. <laughs> Glad you guys are backing him up. I uh, personally love it. Obviously, both Megan and I are Canadian. So, <laughs> representing. So, any chance to come back and work at home, whether it be on the West Coast, East Coast, it's all home to me, uh, is fantastic. It's the best. Yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful city. So, if, you know, these gigs, these out of town gigs, if it had to be anywhere, Montreal is fantastic. It's just. Agreed. It's just for. For uh, Sammy and me, who don't live there, I mean, it's it's kind of like you go somewhere and, and the job is your life, you know. Um, so it, it was it was so scary intense. too, because yeah. you don't know when you sign. I mean, you know, it was obviously the show wasn't a pilot. It was never a pilot. It was picked up for 13 episodes, so you knew that you were going, living there. Yeah. yeah, going to Montreal, you were going to be there for six months, and it was like, okay, like I've been living in LA for 10 years, and now I'm going to uproot everything and and move. Yeah, you know, all the way across the you know country into a new country. I'm glad that we both, you yeah. know, did that. So I had someone that could relate to how yeah. weird an experience. Because these was. guys are impossible. Did they just yeah. seat all of you guys? Oh, Got to wrap been it up. Standing in a for so long. Yeah. Now you're all by yourself. Look behind you. Scared? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where's your happy ending? Where are you going? Going to oh Seattle? Oh my god, I'm so mean today. <laughs> okay, I'll make it up to you. It's Flipper's gonna lick you. Yeah. Yes. Flipper Yeah, Flipper Lynn. Oh, you're getting licked. Lick everyone on the way down. Woo! He's a little damp, Get guys. I'm sorry. He's a little damp. Little, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh. All right. Do you guys know? I, I, I don't know if, how many of you guys are. I noticed that you're dressed like a genie. She is. She has her Aladdin pants on. She already granted me one wish today. <laughs> No, I'm talking about. Uh, uh, oh my fall God. down. <laughs> you're, oh, you're disgusting. I'm disgusting, but you're really mean. Oh dear. I just made it you up. You did. To you him. did make it up to him. <laughs> well, look at there's a baby. Uh, we do have to wrap it up, guys. Is there anything you want to say at all to the to the fans before we uh, before we wrap it up? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sticking yes. with us for the four years. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been, it's so nice to come here and uh, speaking to a lot of you, just hearing that you're satisfied with the end, it just means everything to us because we, we did it for, for all of you and we wanted you to be happy. So it's good that you are, most of you. I love you. Woo! I love you. Also, we're doing photo ops after this and it will <laughs> probably be the best time of your life. I don't know if you've seen our photo ops, but there's something. Some they're pretty good. They're incredible. Some of you have. I think, uh, yep, right there. We jumped. I remember we jumped. <laughs> it was fun. Yep, yeah. here we go. Yeah, yep. girl. Yep. We did what? What did we do? I proposed. Oh, yep. It's fun. Well, it's guys, fun. thank you so much for being here. I know I speak ah, for everybody. We're on our knees for that, man. I speak for everybody when I say we'll follow you anywhere you go now in terms of what you do. And we're looking forward to seeing what you do next. So give a big Calgary Expo thank you. Thank you, guys. To Kristen, Megan, Sam, and Sam. Thank oh you so God. much for doing this, guys. Thank you, Teddy. Thank you. Thanks man. for coming, everyone. Yay. The cast of Being Human. Woo! Oh, my God.